All right, so this is one of your chapter, this is chapter 13, homework uh, problems. So it says, uh, like, determine the structure of the missing organic molecule in the following reactions, right? And they want you to do the drawing in skeletal line structure for the missing organic molecules, which are X and Y. So when you do this, you kind of kind of look at what's happening, right? You are forming something that if you look at the very end, you look at this molecule right here, what are you forming? You're forming a, ket a ketone, right? So if you're forming a ketone, what did you start with? You started with a ketal, then you cleaved off an alcohol and you made a hemi ketal. You cleaved off another and you made another alcohol and you made a ketone. So basically what you have to do is write this reaction in reverse, right? So let's, let's do that. We're gonna start with our ketone. Our ketone has our carbonyl group, right? That's the ketone. Now I'm gonna go in reverse. And while I'm going in reverse, what am I gonna add to it? I'm gonna have my ketone, let me kind of scooch it over. Ketone, and to that ketone, I'm gonna add this alcohol or this uh, molecule with a hydroxyl, right? Now, what am I gonna make when I take a ketone and I add that to an alcohol? Ketone plus alcohol is going to give me a hemi ketal. Okay, and I think in the online system, it just says an acetal or a hemi acetal, but technically it's ketal. Okay, so what we do is we draw that same structure. And right here where we had our carbonyl, that's where we're gonna start to add things, right? Okay, so what happens is, I can erase that, okay. On that same carbon that had the carbonyl, right? What's gonna end up happening is that you're gonna end up cleaving the hydrogen and the oxygen on the alcohol. The hydrogen is gonna to go to the oxygen that's already there, right? And so we're gonna make an OH molecule. Okay, we did that. Then that O, that oxygen is gonna come and attack the carbon that was in the carbonyl. So I got something else coming off of the carbonyl. So I just now need to say that's an oxygen coming off of the oxygen. There's a carbon here, here, and here. So I'm gonna say that's one carbon, two carbons, three carbons. So that's my hemiketal. I have one OR group, one hydroxyl, and then two Rs, that's a hemiketal. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and add my other alcohol. So here's my alcohol. OH. So when I add an alcohol to a hemi ketal, God, I gotta scooch this over. I'm running out of room. I'm always running out of room. Okay. What am I gonna make? Well, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna replace the hydroxyl. This is basically what happens, right? Instead of having a hydroxyl here, try to do a different color. What I'm gonna get replaced, I'm gonna replace that hydroxyl with this OR group, right? Because this hydrogen and this hydroxyl are gonna go to form what? It's gonna go to form H2O. And that's that same H2O right there. Those are the same waters, right? Okay, so let's draw what else we have. Our organic product, right? Okay, and we had our O, oops, I missed a carbon there. Okay, so we have that R, OR group. So now basically what we're just gonna do is draw what's circled right here. I'm gonna have an oxygen coming off of the oxygen of the carbon. Then I have two CH3 groups. So when you have to go and add it in, this is now X. This is what you would draw for X right here. It's terrible, but this is X. And then this, would be why. So all it's doing, it's terrible. All it's doing is going in reverse. So you just have to kind of like 
actually draw out the reaction in reverse. We did it forward in class. Now you're just doing it in reverse. So just remember everything about the ketals and acetals. So this is really a, oops. This is really a ketal, right? So that is X and that is Y. Okay, hope that helps.